in the previous videos we saw about marginal gingiva and attached gingiva in this video we'll see about the third part of gingiva that is the interdental gingiva interdental gingiva occupies the gingival embrasure that is the space between below the tooth contacts the interproximal space here the interdental gingiva can be either pyramidal shaped or call shaped depending on two points the shape of the interdental gingiva depends on the shape of the contact point and the presence of either gingival recession or not the buccal and lingual surfaces of the interdental gingiva taper towards the contact point whereas the mesial and distal surfaces are concave forming a valley the triangle shaped interdental papilla a component of the interdental gingiva has its derivatives from both the marginal gingiva and the attached gingiva the lateral walls and the tip of the papilla are derived from the marginal gingiva of the adjacent teeth whereas the central portion of the papilla is consists of the attached gingiva in cases of diastema where there are space considerable space between two teeth the gingiva is firmly bound to the interdental bone and there is no presence of interdental papilla thus the shape of the interdental papilla also varies depending on the shape of the shape and dimension of the gingival embrasure the interdental papilla is also of aesthetic concern because the absence of it will cause a black triangle which is seen due to the lack of any gingiva in the embrasure portion thus we saw the basics of anatomy of gingiva the three components to know more about marginal gingiva and attached gingiva see the previous parts of the video thank you